Hey, welcome back guys. In this video, we will take a look at collections in Postman. So what are collections? So collections are really important as they allow you to group multiple requests together. So why does that matter? Well, with grouping, you have your workspace organized, meaning you can keep all your requests in one location so that you can reuse them whenever you need. Additionally, you can also share collections with your teammates so that they don't have to create those API requests themselves. For example, if you create a login API request which has the test username and password details, when you share the collection, they will have access to that same information. So everyone is working with the same copy which allow you to collaborate with your teammates. And collections also help you generate API documentation. So whatever you will put in there will automatically be generated by Postman. And one of the main use cases is you can run your collections together. What that means is you have let's say 10 API requests in your collection. You can now run all of them together instead of running each one of them individually. And you can then automate your test run using collections. So collections are a really powerful concept in Postman. So it's really important to understand how to create and use collections effectively as it will help you a lot in your API testing. Now let's head over to Postman and see how we can create a collection. If you remember in the previous video, we set up our Trello account in and made a call to the Trello board API. What we'll do is create a collection and then add this request into our collection so that we can reuse it later on. So let's do that. So to create a collection, if you click on this tab over here, collections, you will have an option to create a new collection. So just click new collection here and then you will have an option to give a name to your collection. So we are working with Trello APIs. So I'm just going to give this Trello. And then what I will do is give it some description so I can call it the Trello REST API. And I have some other options too, which is for authorization, some script test, which we will look at later on. So I will click on the create button over here, which will create this Trello collection for me. Now at this moment, if you notice, it says zero requests. There are no requests at this moment. So what we have to do is add in our request over here to this Trello. So to add a request to our Trello collection, it's pretty simple. What we're going to do is click on the save button here. What this will do is give us an option to add in our request name. So I can do that. So I'm simply going to name this what we had in our actual Trello API. So I'm going to go back there. And if you notice here, they are naming this, this get one boards ID because we were actually getting a single board. So I'm going to do the same thing over there. So I'll head back. I will paste that here. So this is my request name and I would just say get a single board. I'll just give it some description. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is select my Trello collection. And then I have an option to create a folder. I will create a folder and name this one board. So anything related to that boards API, I'm going to store it in this folder. And then I will just click OK and then save to board. All right. Now, if you notice, it says we have one request and we have this folder created board. If I open that up, we have this new API created. So that's pretty cool. So if I do right click open in a new tab, look at that. It basically what it just did is it opened that get request for us and it saved our parameters too, which we set over here for this particular one. And even let's say if you come back tomorrow and you forgot what you did, you can just simply click on this. It will open it up and all you have to do is just hit the send button to get the response back. So this is the power of collection, right? So now what you can also do is export this and share it with your teammates. So they will have access to this board API. So let's say if you guys are sharing the same API key and then token, you can just share that with others so that they don't have to pass all of this detail in. All they will know is, okay, I need to get a detail for my particular board. They can probably come in and change their board ID and then they just hit the send request and they will get access to the response over here, which is pretty cool. And that's the power of collections. All right, so now let's try to add another API request to our collection. So this time we already made a request to this one, but what if you want to create a new one? So to do that, let's figure out which API request we want to add in. So I'm going to go back to Trello API over here and then let's try to do this. So we have access to all this list, which is backlog, spring backlog, in progress and all of this, right? If you want to get access to this, how can we do that? So there must be an API for this. If I go to boards, let's see if you have something called get list in a board. Um, okay, there you go. So this one get list on a board. So this gets the list on a particular board. So I'm hoping it will give us a list of all of this API here. So this one is straightforward. You do get one boards ID slash list. Let's try to make an API request for this. So I'm just going to copy this part over here so that we can name this over there. And then I'm going to head back to Postman. This time I'm going to do add request. 
and I'm going to do this. So this would be get all the list on a board. Okay, I will add this to my boards folder, which is good. And I'll do save to board. Now, if I open this one, so this time it's empty. So we don't have all this information here. So what I'm going to do is copy this URL, paste this here and just change some of the things here. So what we have to do is do board slash ID slash list. So I have that already. I have board slash ID. I'm just going to add in list over here. So I'll do lists and then let's try to hit send. See if this works for us. Okay, there you go. So let me open this up. Now we have access to our backlog, sprint backlog in progress. And then this other two columns over here. Now this should match exactly what we were looking at in our so backlog, sprint backlog in progress and the sprint complete for the two sprint that was completed. So that's pretty cool. We just added another API request to our board and we actually was able to do that really quickly. We just added a new API request and what we didn't do this time is actually save it. So what I'm going to do is simply save this. Now, if I actually close this and if I open the first one, I can actually get access to that right away. There you go. This is basically giving me access to the entire board. And if I want to get the list of that board, I can just click that and there you go. I will get the list. So just imagine if someone new joins in your team and they want to access how to get list for a particular board, all you have to do is just share this collection or the API request with them and they will have access to that. And we will take a look at how you can export all of that later on. But for now, the focus was how you can add in an API request or first how you can create a collection, then add in an API request. Okay, so to quickly review, we learned what collections are and why we need them. And then we created our own Trello collection where we added a couple of requests in it, which was our get board ID as well as get board ID list. So in the next video, we will learn about Postman variables and how it can be helpful for our collections. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, you can go to automationbro.com where you will have access to all the blog posts related to the videos that I put here. And if you would like, you can subscribe to my mailing list so that you get notified every time I put out a new blog post. And the link for that will be in the description below. That's it for this video, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.